Happy Pride or Happy Light Pride, come join me as I build this lesbian, cat-loving, dog-loving, animal-loving home. Come on, don't be so nervous. So, believe it or not, I actually built this house all the way back in 2021, so it's been about two years now, so I have no idea what this house is about to look like. Um, I will say, though, it kind of works for the end of pride month i don't know exactly what day i'm uploading this but i'm recording this in june so the july happy late pride is in june happy pride but i had this vision <laughs> i remember when i was building this house that this was a house for old cat lady dog lady old lesbians that just adopted a surplus of animals i forgot if it was exclusively cats i remember putting in dog beds too i feel like they just have animals of all sizes the reason i say this is that there's actually like this tiktok couple i follow um because they rescue a lot of dogs and it's just kind of an ongoing joke with them that the one thing the wife will lie about is about how many animals she's gonna take in and i love that that's a good thing to lie about because I always watch those sad animal videos and I'm like, why does TikTok keep recommending it to me? It's because I keep watching them. I want them all to find homes and it makes me upset and I just want them to be all be cared for. I had, I remember I had a problem with this part. I was trying to like, I was going off a picture. I don't remember the picture because again, it was two years ago, so I probably have it somewhere on my computer, <laughs> but I'm editing this on my gaming laptop. So this was definitely based off of something because I had a vision. That wasn't my own it was based off reality and it was not working um i really wanted these this roof to like go around this little balcony and i don't know if i actually ever achieved that or if i just said fuck it and let it look a little ugly um but here i am maneuvering it a shit ton come on jen you can figure it out i think <laughs> sims has such like niche little things that really bother me um but yeah the Sims 3 really spoiled me with auto roofs, but I do like the fact that The Sims 4 forced me to get creative with my roofing. Um, I really like having anything that looks a lot like a castle. Oh, I'm back to the side roof. Okay, I can see. I can see I wasn't happy with it, but it's a bit weird. I'm still recording this while I am at home. Oh shit, my music's still playing. Hopefully it doesn't pick up on that. Um, I'm still at home at the moment. I'm on the Philippines. I really want to get like this video done though, because... Imagine if I had to record a voiceover on the plane or like in front of my cousins. That would have been really awkward because I am actually staying in Manila for a few days. If you don't know, Manila is the capital of the Philippines. So I'm staying there for a few days just to like see the city and stuff. And then we're going to go back to my home in the Philippines where like my cousins and aunts and uncles all live. So I will be, at the time this is being uploaded, I think, I will be at a hotel room. I believe so. Um, so that would not work because... If you ever stayed anywhere with family, there is no privacy in general, and then in a hotel, forget about it. Oh my god, but look how pink this is. I love this. I was going for old- I was really going for the old granny vibes, but it's nice. Oh, I gave up entirely on that roof on. The side roof looks cute, though. I think it's a nice little, um... I don't know if I forgot the word for replacement or whatever, but it's cute. It's got old, like- oh, You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the Coraline house, which is probably what any, like, oldish gothic- looking house gets referred to as but also these glass stained windows are my favorite um i think i thought they were a little too much because i do have them somewhere else around the house and i love having a balcony by the way um i'm using my headset microphone i bought a headset for streaming because i don't want to have a separate microphone so this headset has like a little microphone thingy i don't know how good it is this is my first thing I'm trying out recording with it. So if you hear Winter losing her mind in the background, I apologize. I don't know what she's barking at. Um, sometimes she barks at a blade of glass, just like moving a little too much to her liking. So I do tend to ignore her, which probably isn't the best because sometimes, sometimes she catches something good. But I love also red roofs. I feel I tend to always just stick to a black roof because it is the easiest. But then if you got like white windows and stuff, it unless you're going for like a black and white look it doesn't it doesn't look as good and overbearing everything with plants is my favorite thing um i think it's quite gorgeous 
I did download Sims though on my gaming laptop so I can play The Sims while I'm gone. The only thing that sucks is um, I really like having custom content for a lot of my Sims things and I'm not going to do that to my gaming PC. Um, my my P oh wait, my laptop, I mean, my PC can barely handle all the CC I have. Like my loading screen is a fucked up llama right now. If you watch any of my Not So Berry videos, if I tend to be talking during the loading screen, you will see it doesn't, it doesn't look right. So I'm keeping the gaming laptop CC free and that's fine for buildings. I never really use CC for building, especially since I want to upload them to the gallery and actually have people be allowed to download them. But I was thinking I could build maybe some um, stuff from Genshin or even Star Rail if I'm feeling ambitious, but a lot of Star Rail stuff is a little bit more funky, just a little bit more funky than Genshin. I did build Dawn Winery. I forgot if I finished it. I have to look through the files and see if I finished it, but I did build Dawn Winery and I thought it was really cool. I used a bunch of, um, base game buy mode stuff. Is that what it was called? I haven't touched Sims in a hot second. It's one of those games where you play it religiously or not at all, and there's a very few in between. Oh my gosh, this is me like experimenting with terrain tools. I honestly hate doing terrain tools because I hate how things get all mushy and jumbly, but I thought this was cute. A little overgrown patch area with like a little cherry blossom tree going on, you know, fits the pink theme. Anything overgrown in Sims is my favorite. I love the clutter. Um, I think the can, <laughs> the computer can't handle how fast it's going, but it's okay. It's all good. It's very cute. But yeah, once I built some stuff from Genshin, like from the teapot or whatever, those little houses that you have as the main construction, because I think that'd be really cool to have. I might just build it as a shell and then have that separate and then do everyone's rooms individually, because I think that could be really cool. The only thing I hate about really long builds like this as well, I love building houses. Um, I am not equipped to do a voiceover for this song. I have paused numerous times already to take a water break. And I also run out of things to say, but I can make it work for now. <laughs> but I think having the like monster, like, I do monster first, do it region by region, just go in order for the hell of it. I would try to do everyone's rooms and I would maybe have you guys vote on who should get like what room because everyone else besides the main rooms that are there are just gonna go in the basement. I could definitely have people um, share rooms. I think I talked about this on stream. Like Mona and Fischl could definitely be roommates. And then Jean and Lisa, haha, <laughs> roommates. And they'd be really awful if I mean like Kaya and Diluc roommates, you know? Um, not in the same context as Lisa and Jean being roommates, but it could work in a sense where people could overlap because the rooms are a little big for the Genshin rooms. I think in The Sims, it would translate to a rather big room. So unless I think the person would have a room by themselves, um, I could also like, do a poll if they should have a room in Oh, there's the lesbian fat flags. Yes, I very much wanted to add those to here because like I said, I had the vision of the old lesbians living here. Um, I imagine they bought this house very young and they did a lot of uppity things to it, construction and everything. I think, was that like a little graveyard? I forgot that was a little graveyard. Because I I also had this idea that they would have a little graveyard for their um, deceased pets. Because they would. Because they love them. And they are definitely have lived their lives. But they have also cherished the lives of many other animals. Um, but yeah, I don't remember actually added in headstones. But I think that was kind of the vibe. But I did want things to be overgrown in a sense that they are old. They can't really take care of it as much anymore. Uh, as much as they like to, at least, but it's still very pretty in its own sense. But yeah, details on these houses are my favorite things, like little pizzazz that added its personality. Like for, I was saying before with Dawn Winery, I added a bunch of random glass bottles everywhere, and I thought that was like kind of cool. Oh, here's me putting in sheets. Oopsie. Not gonna lie, I was gonna edit that out, and then I'm a little too lazy. Because <laughs> the recording thing I'm using, I'd have to X out of the recording audio menu, and then go back to the clip, and then edit it out and then come back here and i kind of just don't want to do that it make my life easier because i'd talk for a little less few seconds but it's what it be did i put up the trans flag somewhere i feel like that that would also be also i did this i thought this was a really cute idea i thought i was so smart for this i <laughs> elevated stuff so in the back of the pickup truck which by the way you don't have cars in sims so this is just from the debug menu that's what it's called not buy menu debug um, these are objects that appear in the game, like you have cars pass by, 
but they're not actually in the game. I say this because I know some of you don't play The Sims, but you support me, so I appreciate that. But yeah, so I had their pickup truck and I added a little dog bed to it so it looks like the dogs and stuff hang out back there. I thought it was so smart. Um, I still think it's very smart, obviously, by the enthusiasm in my voice. And I added a spare tire there. I imagine that they don't get out very much. That truck's really all they got to civilization and everything. They mostly like to stay in the comfort of their own home, their beautiful backyard, and their 14 billion pets. Oh, this is me going to the gallery. Sometimes I like going to the gallery to find plants and stuff for things because people just have them sorted in a certain area. And I really need that because... Scrolling through the menus is one of my least favorite things on The Sims because I'm very indecisive. So sometimes what I'll do is if I see something I like, I'll just put it somewhere so I can move it later. But I'll just throw things at a room and see what I like for it. But that can get very chaotic very fast because I do like a lot of things. I really do. I also hate how you can't stretch out the fences to the end of the plot. So I do this a lot where I add bushes just to fill in the empty room. But you know what? My Sims paid for it. Greenhouses are my favorite thing. I love having them. I love gardening in The Sims. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, way to make money, but it does take up a lot. <laughs> there was a noise that you guys could not hear because it was the sound of my headsets dying. I bought the new Logitech. They're not new, but they're new from me. The Logitech um, Aurora. Aura? I don't know if I'm just confusing it with my friend or if it's Aurora or Aura, but regardless, shout out to Aura, my bestie, um, cloud headset, because I wanted something simple for the Philippines, because the two headsets I have are my Fox ones and then the REM headphone ones, and those are both limited editions, so if something did happen to them, I would be quite literally sad, especially the Fox ones. They're kind of an iconic thing for me now. So I wanted something simple, but also like not too flashy. So I have these. I also brought like my Sony headphones, but these are pretty chill and they're cute. They're very cute if I were to use them standalone if I took off the microphone, which I think it could be a look for an outfit. Regardless, anyways, I did buy these also because they have the microphone that extends out, but I'm so used to those headphones. They like talk to me in Japanese. I don't know what they say. I'm not going to attempt what they say either because I will butcher it, but I kind of have it by what I tend to think of as my memory of what they, but they shout at me as they're dying. But this one was just like, did it do off? And I was like, oh, that's freaky because the microphone obviously turned off too. So it stopped recording me. Also, this is a fun thing to do with bathrooms. Utilize the space. I, I like adding soap to things. I like adding toilet paper. Um, I think it's very fun. It doesn't harm anyone. I love the clutter. It's it's very cute, but I will say bathrooms are like one of the least important things to me. So they tend to just go wherever it may be. Um, like it's the least important room to me, but it did help that they are the only ones living here. So I had a lot more room than I thought I would. Uh, I remember I had a little bit of trouble with the hallway where the stairs are coming up. Um, this is, that's another thing. I add the soap to those baths tub showers all the time it just adds a little bit of realism i don't even remember furnishing that whole room did i just talk over that whole room getting furnished and i didn't even notice or did i just forget to add the clip these clips might be out of order for all i know and that'd be very sad uh i did not test walk any of this so if your sim can't get anywhere sorry just got to be style over function that that's the way it be with me but i love wood so much like dark browns and everything it's my favorite i think it sometimes can look really nice especially in comparison to just having stark black and everything and then pink i don't think it comes to much surprise when i say pink is my favorite color it's gorgeous oh wow a lot of this building has been done I guess I really did just talk over all of it. Anyways, though, I love having a little patio thing. I think eating breakfast outside is so nice. Um, and something I wish I could do more. I just hate how many, like, mosquitoes are where I live. And since it's just grass, it's kind of, I don't say swampy, but you know how bugs are attracted to shade and moisture. Uh, my backyard is where the sun does not hit because my dad purposely bought our house so we could have the sun hit the front which makes sense because i live up north meaning it snows here so he just wanted the driveway to melt he purposely did that that makes sense um but as a result my backyard it's a little mucky i like it. it's a very nice backyard it's very big but it's mucky also the giant rainbow i added <laughs> i really did not um remember how as low-key as possible gay i made this house but i did and i love it these always be 
getting lit as hell in that hot tub, huh? I left the kitchen and stuff for last. Bedrooms are... Oh, see, here's the bedroom. I didn't miss it. The clips are just out of order. And like I said before, um... I'm a little too lazy to go back and edit it. Because I'm on a little bit of a time crunch and I already talked over all those clips. So, we're going to roll with it. This little dent here, I at first had no idea what to do with it. But I was like, what if I just made it a little dining area, you know? Like one of those areas, like little eating nook. I think it's cute. I think it's a very cute idea. And I actually love these types of nooks in real life. Um, I think making use of single spaces as closets or like a washer dryer moment in The Sims, or this is a nook, or even as like a little private toilet area. I love those things because it adds a lot of character to the house. I hate straight square things, even though it makes the furniture complicated. I don't care. S just square everything looks ugly. I'm looking at you modern day houses with the giant glass windows. They can be very pretty. Um, if you have one of those houses, I'm sure it's very nice. I'm sure you furnished it beautifully. It's just not as much character as I like for me. It gives off the vibes that I could be sniped at any moment as if I was important enough to have someone trying to snipe me. That's all I'm saying. I like these <laughs> rickety old houses. I'm sure people think they are or whatever. They're very cute. Anyways, if any of you guys are from the Philippines, what's something like fun I could do there that's not too costly? Because we have some stuff locally. Um, I'm not gonna say locally where I live or whatever, but I don't. We do some stuff every single time. Um, I guess we're staying in Manila for a while. Obviously, mole of Asia and all that stuff. But I just wonder if there's like something I'm missing. I do plan on probably trying to go get a tattoo from one of the traditional people who do like the stick and poke thing or like even i think it's the hammer thing more or less not stick and poke like the thing before that the hammer um it will hurt i'm aware of that but i'm excited because it will be my first tattoo and i like the idea of getting a traditional tattoo um especially considering it is part of my culture but yeah oh my gosh i forgot i did this I added the little like TV right there as like a little divider thing because <laughs> okay I know I said style over function before when it came to that little walkway by the staircase but I always make my sims watch TV while eating because it's the best way to get their fun up without having them just sit in front of the TV. Which is ironic because is that something I would like to do? Yes. Is me just saying they're playing video games something I do every single day? Yes. However, <laughs> however, for my Sims, they got work to do. They got to keep on track of things. So I will often just have them sit in front of a TV. So it makes sense to me that they need to eat in front of a TV. It, it just... It's this how it be. I remember I played like the 100 baby challenge once and in everyone's room they had a bed, a mini fridge, a chair, and a desk like to do their homework. Not even a desk, I think. I just had them do their homework on their beds. But they had a chair at least. And in front of the chair would be like the cheapest TV I could find. And I think at one point for my 100 baby challenge, it was like they were little prisoners because I didn't want them getting up. Oh my God, the amount of times I told them, go get some food. And they would all be just in front of the fridge. I sometimes even add two fridges. It was never enough. So when university came out and I got mini fridges, I think that's when it came out, I was good to go. That's what they ate from. Um, see, look at all these kitty things. Very cute. I Yeah, they have cats. But since they have some pretty big beds, either they have very spoiled cats, which I can see, or they have dogs. I'm going to think that they have both. But yes, I really want to do the Hunter Baby Challenge again. I think it was a lot of fun. I might retry it on my own for fun, just because, like... I know they added stuff to toddlers or babies, I mean. And that's... It's, it seems like hell. Everyone says they want more features for it, but... I do always think sometimes more is just too much. Less is more, per se. But, oh, I also added this little thing. I had, like, this awkward space between the stairs and the last wall. So I made it a little, um, not, like, mud room, but a room where the washer and dryer could go kind of thing. And I put, like, fake ironing stuff in there and cleaning things. That's another thing I try to add to all my houses is, like, a little place for all that stuff. I'm actually going to try to see if I can find the screenshots for this build because it's very cute but I don't want to have to go back and look for them I just yeah 
I found the pictures. They're very cute. I, I just really like the idea of pink and green, I think. Um, I really want a green kitchen where I can add, like, pink stuff to it, in a way. I think it's a, they're very cute colors together. Also, if you have made it this far and you have listened to my rambling, um, pat yourself on the back or something. Or maybe, <laughs> I don't even want to sound like self-deprecating, but thank you so much for watching even like this far. It means a lot to me. Um, I also had this vision that their pool was a little mucky. Maybe they don't have a chance to clean it anymore because they're kind of old and in their times. But I also imagine it'd be mucky because they got that giant tree right there. I'm sure things blow into it. I'm sure their dogs randomly jump into it at times. Um, I love watching videos of dogs go in pools and like they don't want to get out. I really want to teach Winter how to swim. We don't have a pool at my house. We have a tiny one, like one of those blow up ones, but she could poke a hole in that just simply by existing in it. Um, but she'll bite it or claw at it, I'm sure. She has her own little pool and she loves it. She does not love the water though. Like, she doesn't like to just chill in water. She likes the hose and likes to dig at the hose, if that makes any sense. That's her favorite thing. If you turn off the hose and there's just water in there, all she will do is bark at you to turn the hose back on. Um, she sometimes tries to bite the water, but not as much as other dogs, or if like I was putting it in the air. I think she more opens her mouth as a, a stimulation, stimulation thing, stimulation I mean. I don't know, but oh, this room is so cute. It's a lot of brown, which I'm surprised at. Do I switch it to pink? Because I think the brown is very cute. It's it's different from compared to, I, okay, no, I think I keep most of the brown. Like, make it pink walls, but very brown furniture which i do love because it's not as intense then i do add this little part like there's this little couch that you'll see and it reminds me a lot of what is like therapy things where you see people laying down on it and like to quote dubinchurch from finita verb it all started when i was born type shit that's that's what it makes me think of um i also really like using dividers because sometimes rooms are so big and the spaces feel ginormous i like to divvy it up a little bit but i think it's very cute what it ends up being they have like little oh my gosh the little botany things they've added now to the game where you can make flower arrangements are so cute i really like having those i also like having the um pictures you get from restaurants i've added them places before where you, like, you're supposed to take a picture of your food but i think they make such cute little kitchen accessories or something I think I'm gonna have to help my mom soon with packing because she just um like threw my laundry in that I was having go through the washer before because I have some stuff in there that I want to put in my luggage and my mama seems a little stressed so I'm gonna have to help her at some point but I'm gonna say adios to y'all now I'll be back towards the end thank you so much for suffering through my talking i appreciate you loads again i don't want to get so, too self-deprecating but this is my little lesbian cottage and i'll see you guys all at the end so enjoy the rest of the video
skip on the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and staying for the whole video the screenshots are coming up soon but i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you're in the world and please do not forget to like comment and subscribe especially if you watch this whole thing please comment i'd love to hear what you guys think if it hurts the beautiful screenshot of the house and i'll see you guys next time i upload please be sure to check out my discord for updates on how i'm doing bye